so Block is a blockchain technology company, uh, and we have two sides of the house. One is called Block Enterprise, one is called Block Labs. In Block Enterprise, we uh, build infrastructure to engage in tokenized networks. So think wallets and nodes, uh, a development environment, uh, analytics and, uh, and data analysis. So everything you need to plug in and engage in these new tokenized networks. On Block Labs, we build new decentralized networks and applications. Mm -hmm. So some of our previous projects and partners are Quantum, Civic, Dragon Chain, uh, Veriblock, Space Chain. So of the stack, one of the key things is uh, uh, the wallet. And in many ways, the wallet is your browser to the blockchain. Uh, there you have asset management, identity, access control, all these different layers uh, that this new decentralized future is going to require. Mm -hmm. And having a wallet that's multi-network, multi-token, uh, uh, multi-currency is going to be very uh, critical to engaging in these, uh, uh, these new protocols, these new networks. Tokenization of things uh, is upon us. I think, uh, you know, uh, we saw Bitcoin and then Ethereum. And then after that, we saw this Cambrian explosion of, uh, of innovation and finance. And I think uh, tokenization is, is now happening in a couple different pockets. One is everything you see on coinmarketcap.com. Uh, new crypto, uh, new networks, new decentralized cooperatives, uh, whether it's for storage or access um, or compute, uh, new money layers. And then uh, what you're going to see, I think, over the next uh, several years is uh, security tokens, so asset-backed tokens. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see uh, real estate, uh, cap tables, debt all get tokenized. Uh, and, and the real takeaway there is that you're going to find new ways of creating liquidity and, uh, and value for uh, assets that have typically been either locked up or mm -hmm. hard to find uh, liquidity and, uh, and, and better price discovery. We need a lot more innovators, a lot more technologists in the space. But I would say uh, fundamentally two, two areas. One is uh, regulation and then two is adoption. I think they kind of go hand in hand. Okay. Adoption for not only retail investors to have uh, better uh, 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 wallets, better uh, engagement mm -hmm. uh, in uh, cryptocurrency, and then uh, also for institutions, uh, uh, custody platforms, and uh, uh, a better regulatory uh, environment, which uh, goes into the broader regulatory question mm -hmm. of uh, you know how regulators are going to help uh, inspire investors and innovators to build great jobs and innovation, or are they going to kind of get it wrong and uh, and uh, kind of compress some of that. What's surprising to me is a lot of the innovators uh, in, in uh, the regulatory uh, community uh, are, are, are a pleasant surprise, a breath of fresh air. Uh, you have uh, Jason here in Taiwan, you have the Blockchain Caucus in the US, yes. you have pockets in uh, Singapore and uh, Switzerland that are really taking this uh, technology and the regulatory dialogue to the next level. So I'm very encouraged by that. Uh, and. Uh, I uh, want to continue to help support them uh, on their mission. Well, we just launched Metronome last week, which is a new novel cryptocurrency. It's an autonomous layer, which means uh, we launched it and we have no more uh, way to uh, uh, impact or, or change that uh, particular protocol. Uh, and, and I think these autonomous layers will be some of the most powerful and valuable of this new decentralized future. Mm -hmm. And it, it's great to have spent a year plus building this and finally launching it. And so now we're uh, in the go-to-market phase and, and trying to uh, help uh, develop all the uh, utility for, uh, uh, for that community.